Hello and welcome back to the Sims 4 Dine Out Rags to Riches Challenge. And ladies and gentlemen, today, well, today I have no idea where we left off because it's been like a month since I played The Sims 4 and I've been doing some traveling. I was in Manchester at Simmers Meetup and that was amazing. And being there is sort of why I, I got home and was like, hey, I should play The Sims. I really want to play The Sims. So we're playing The Sims again. And I'm going to keep going with this with Ali and Peyton because they are adorable and because I really want to, you know, finish the rags to riches thing and then have these two sort of go off into life and be, you know, adorable as well. That's the idea anyway. So with that said and done, let's get right to it. So at the moment, Peyton is enjoying some cartoons, obviously, as one does. And Ellie is upstairs having a bit of a snooze, which is fine. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and check on the restaurant, which is currently closed, which is fine. It is almost noon, though, so let's go ahead and open it. The funds aren't so bad in the business. We have a little bit of money in the household uh, bank or whatever it is as well. So let's go ahead and open the business. I'm not sure how well that's going to do considering we're not there, but we can go there in just a moment. We do, of course, need to fill up the house with some other stuff at some point, too, but we'll get to that. What I do want to do, though, is go to the business perks and all that stuff and have a little look and see if there's anything interesting we can get. We could get tidy tippers, and we can get that multiple times, so that would just give us better tips and higher tips on top of every meal. I think we got that once before. I did get the two ingredient discounts. Well managed would be maybe useful. The chef's hat unlocks an additional chef hat. I'm not all that interested. I think tidy tippers is maybe where I want to go. So let's get tidy tippers. Let's get ourselves a bit more money from tips. And uh, let's go ahead and I guess have Ali and Peyton go to the venue. I think this is just Peyton I'm taking to the venue, but that's okay. No worries. We can have Peyton go and do some work. Ali can come along in just a little bit. When she's perhaps a little bit less tired because, you know, having your sims be all stressed out isn't really what you want to do. And I've been pretty bad at managing that over the last, like, 14 episodes. So I'm going to try and look after them. I'm going to try and make sure that Ali and Peyton are having a good time and they aren't too stressed. For example, Peyton needs to uh, go pee and then maybe talk to some people. So go and use the bathroom. Then uh, we'll have you, uh, I guess, go there. And I guess you can welcome a few people to the restaurant, which is surprisingly busy, which is really good to see, let's be honest. The restaurant has had some times where it's like, yo, we could do with more people, but we're doing all right, I would say. I, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's uh, speed things up just a little bit. So Peyton's going to walk to that spot there because I said go there for some reason and she's not going to go speak to people, which is beautiful. And we just got a bunch of money, I think. Yeah, we're, we're doing all right. I'd say we're doing all right. Where is Ali? Let's have you go ahead and come here. You are sad, Ali. Why are you sad? Because you're not having fun and you're not being social. Well, we can fix that. Let's have you go and take a picture with Peyton. Which I guess is kind of social. Which actually did knock your social up a little bit. You are also kind of needing to sleep. I guess you were only napping when you were at home. So I guess maybe having Ali go and sleep a little bit. Maybe napping would be better. But we'll have you sleep just so you can get your energy up. And how is the money for the business? Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I'm quite happy to see that. Uh, Peyton, what's up with you? You are uncomfortable because there's apparently a bit of a mess. That's all right. Let's go to management and check on your table and welcome you. And just make sure everyone's having a great time upstairs, which hopefully they're going to be. We do, of course, have good old Bianca. What's the surname? Bianca Sorensen is uh, just standing watching the Bjergsons. That's, uh, that's a great combination of surnames. So you've got the Sorensons and the Bjergsons and the... What is it? What, 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 what's it? Did you just, did you, what did you drop there? Uh, Bena, Bena, Bobby Benavides is, uh, I assume your name. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, that's fine. I went a really long time pronouncing, uh, well, Tucson as Tuscan in Arizona. Can I just, I just want to take a moment and say that 
I mean, I come from Northern Ireland, and I've been down to the Republic of Ireland, and I've been to Wales, and I've been to Scotland. I've been to a lot of places that have weird names. But you kind of expect that in a way, especially in Wales, like 90% of the Welsh language, and no offense to my Welsh viewers, I'm so glad you're here, but like 90% of the Welsh language is made up of L's and Y's. The letters, by the way, L and Y is like 90% of that language. So you see that in a sign and you're like, oh, that's obviously, you know, a really Welsh name. But in American Truck Simulator, I see like T-U-S-C-O-N. And I'm like, oh, it's Tuscan, Arizona. Nope. Nope. That's Tucson, apparently. That's uh, what YouTube comments told me anyway. I mean, you fair enough. Wait, 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 Peyton, what are you? Oh, Peyton's asleep up there. Okay, so both of the owners of the restaurant are currently sleeping. I mean, Allie's somewhat more rested, so we'll get Allie up and get her to have some fun. We, we should get a TV in here. We should get, like, a little TV in that corner instead of a big old plant. So, let's... Let's let's move this plant. It's a cool plant, but I'll just put it there for the time being. Um, This lamp could probably go away? Or maybe not. Maybe the plant just goes away. There we go. So, no more plant. And then if we go to uh, electronics, I could maybe sneak a cheeky little TV onto the wall there. That's probably a thing I could do. Like, if I just sort of chuck it there, that's something that these guys and these guys could watch. But if we went for a bigger one, I mean, that would be kind of nice. Also, if my voice sounds like it's on its last legs, it absolutely is. After si I'm recording this, like, the day I get back. I'm, like, three hours off of a plane, which was delayed. It was delayed three times. So, when I got to the airport, I looked at it as like, oh, it was delayed by, like, 15 minutes. Not so bad. That's okay. Granted, I was at the airport like three hours early, so it didn't matter. But we got I got to the airport and it's like, yo, it's delayed by like 15 minutes. That's fine. We got on the plane, and by we, I mean myself and the passenger. I was traveling alone, but I say we anyway. I got on the plane and it's like, we're going to be delayed by another 10 minutes. And it's like, okay, that's fine. It's no, no big deal. 10 minutes go by, we start taxiing out to the runway. And there's obviously one of like the kind of the, the vehicles that pulls the plane out to the runway. And we get, like, two minutes into taxiing to the runway. And the plane just comes to a dead stop. Everything rattles. Everything shakes. Everyone's slightly freaking out. And I realize I'm telling this story and not building. Uh, and, like, the everyone's just sitting, looking around, going, like, What just happened? What was that? Did something just hit us? It wasn't something hitting us. The vehicle towing us, the bar connecting the plane to that vehicle completely broke. So the entire plane just shook. And we had to get engineers out to the plane to make sure that the wheel wasn't damaged at the front. So that was fun. And as someone that doesn't enjoy flying, that was terrifying. But, you know, these things happen and it's all good. And, you know, you live and you learn and... I learned that Manchester is a city that really doesn't like me because when I got there, the first day I was there, my phone died completely. I had to go to the Samsung store in, in Manchester and they were like, yeah, we'll completely wipe it because if they didn't, I didn't have my boarding pass for my plane home. I didn't have my, my Uber app to get around Manchester. I had nothing. So that was kind of scary being in a city that I don't know on my own. I mean, James... The Sim Supply, Flabaliki, that he was there. Deli was there. Zeus was there. It was great. It was really cool. Like meeting Deli and Zeus for the first time and seeing James again. It's still really, really scary being in a city that you don't know and potentially not having like any way to contact anyone that you know that isn't already there. Anyway, we have our TV here, which I think is going to be super, super useful. Uh, so what we'll do is have Ali go and watch some comedy. There we go. That's probably going to wake... Did it wake you up? It did wake you up. Did you just... I don't know. I think the channel might have just got changed. I don't know. I also don't know... Oh, are you coming up to watch... Are you both up here to watch TV? You better not be. Oh, dear. We may have made a mistake. I remember we did... Did we have a TV here before? 
I don't exactly remember, but I feel like what ends up happening is a lot of the people that go to the restaurant just start watching TV and not buying things. Which is like, I can totally understand why so many businesses are like, yeah, the toilets are for paying customers only. Because if not, you just have people coming in and using. Like, that's annoying as someone that's like, I really need the bathroom. But as a business owner, as, as a business owner, obviously in The Sims. Well, in real life too, but I don't own a business that anyone comes into. As a business owner in The Sims that deals with the public, I can see why it would be annoying for people to come in that aren't paying customers and be like, yo, can I use your facilities? I, I can get that. I can get that. Anyway, let's tend to the garden back here. Because this is still our biggest source of money. Just in case you weren't aware, the, these plants, still the biggest source of money for uh, for good old Ali's, which is the name of this place, right? Ali's Bistro. There we go. Biggest source of money is plants. But that's all right. That's, uh, that's not so bad. Anyway, Peyton, uh, that was not the button I wanted. <laughs> that was uh, that was not the button I wanted. Peyton, I want you to uh, go and check on table. And check on your table. And we'll check on your table. You're a critic. We are going to... Oh, we are going to make you love us. Is what we're going to do. You are going to... Sir, sir, you are going to love it. Might I say that you just have the best mustache? Seriously, that's that thing. I mean, it's better than mine is all I'm saying. I can grow a beard. I can grow everything except the upper lip part, which means that, you know, I look a bit weird a lot of the time. But, you know, beards give me a chin, which is nice. You know, like this guy, like this guy, right? He doesn't have a chin, but with a beard, he has a chin. You know, wait, doesn't he work for me? Is that the uniform of someone that works for me? Hold up, hold up. Do you work for me? Uh, do you work for me, right? No. No, no, that's the adults that went. You're the waiter, right? You don't work for me. Did you, did you work for me at a time? I rec, I don't know why I recognize you, but I feel like you worked for me at a time. I really don't know. I'm really confused by this. Anyway, Ali's still tending to the garden. I think it, might be a good idea to, I guess, have Peyton go and harvest everything. I'm doing a really bad job at looking after my Sims, I realize. I was like, at the start of this, I was like, oh, yeah, I've got this. I've got this. I'm going to look after them. They're going to be the happiest Sims you've ever seen. But no, obviously, I'm doing a pretty bad job. Uh, the business does have some pretty decent money. We've been open for 10 hours. I think we'll push it to 12. We'll close Ellie's Bistro after 12 hours and look at our money, see how things are going. Uh, what we can do is disallow our new customers, so that way, hopefully in two hours' time, we are not going to have a whole bunch of customers coming in. Hopefully we can make a little bit of money. I mean, three and a half thousand simoleons is pretty good. Oh, it's a, is that another critic? Is that Adam Savage? That's, uh, that's, uh, what's your name, sir? Patrick McCartney. Oh, that's an Irish name. Five star review. Hold up. Hold up. Genius is not a term I throw around lightly. The chef is a genius, supported by an excellent staff. This restaurant presented me with dishes I'd never imagined and flavors I wish I had. I'll be making my next reservation as soon as I get home. Dine here to take your taste buds to the next level. Oh, yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do. Five star. Did we? We. I mean, we should be turning this guy away, right? That's a thing we probably should be doing, but all right. Let's go and make sure he's all right. Uh, what are you guys up to? You're still harvesting. I think Ali's done. Ali's actually going to sleep. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a day off tomorrow. We're going to go out with Ali and Peyton. The restaurant's going to be open, but um, Ali and Peyton are going to be... Just sort of going and doing whatever, I suppose. They're just going to have the best time they possibly can. That seems pretty good. We're going to just butter you up a little bit. We'll prioritize your food. Make sure you're having a great time. Almost a five-star restaurant here. I mean, if we could get to five stars at the end of the day, that would be pretty good. That would be pretty good. I think we need to close, though. 
I'm gonna be honest. I feel like we need to close. My workers are getting real tired. So there we go. How did we do? We had 1,863 simoleons in profit. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's pretty good. All right, Peyton, you can go home, and Ali, you can go home too. I want you guys to have a great day tomorrow. You're going to be going out somewhere, maybe to see a movie. Pretty sure that's not a thing they could do in The Sims, but, you know, they're going to go see, I don't know, the fault in our sims or something that was an episode of one of my old sims let's plays actually that was like that was i had a certain thumbnail style at the time and that was like the one episode that had a slightly different way of doing it because i got the fault in our stars font from the movie and was like yo this is actually really cool because it was the fault in our city anyway that's quite an old video uh ali you need to go and sleep so maybe go do that. It looks like you're all done here. What did you do? <laughs> Who are you? I'm sorry. I, hmm. Ma'am? All right. Fair enough. I'll tell you what we need to do, though. We need to go to here. And we kind of want to sell a bunch of this. But I kind of also want to plant a bunch of this. Because being able to get Snapdragon at home would be nice, too. But again, I mean, that's 3,000 of it. So you know what? We're just going to sell it. We're just... We'll just sell it. I'll take 3,087 simoleons for that. And uh, we'll sell all of that too. And I mean, this looks like it is going to need... Oh, I didn't mean to... Hmm. I didn't think about waking you up there. I'm so sorry, Peyton. We'll get a professional gardener out at 9.05 a.m. on Monday morning. That's a couple of days from now, actually. All right. All right. I can deal with that. What I would like to do, though is I want to go ahead and I want to just decorate this little space here. I feel like a rug and some kind of coffee table could be really nice. So, I mean, are there any other oval rugs in The Sims 4? I mean, obviously we have these circle ones, but I, I kind of want an oval. Oh, there's that one, but it's a bit small. If I could get this in a solid color, I'd be fine, but... I mean, I don't think that's going to be a thing. All right, let's see. Let's go. I mean, this one's... Oh, never mind. This one? No, 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 not that one. It's just, it's also a bit big. This, no, it's a bit small. All right. This is going... Okay, wow, that was also massive. Uh, that's not a... That's a bit big, too. We need a slightly smaller rug, which I'm just not getting. That's also a bit big. Maybe that's the size I'm looking for. But there's not like a solid color version of that. There's this one, which is quite nice. What's the color of the walls in there? I think it's kind of neutral. So if I went with a fairly bright color on this, I could probably get away with it. But it doesn't look like there is a fairly bright color on it, which is disappointing. What about you? No, that's a bit big as well. I want a small rug. That's all I want. Give me like a just this pink one. That'll do. That's apparently all I'm getting. So that can go in there. And what I want to do is get myself a little coffee table. And just throw it sort of in the middle of that. A round coffee table would be nice. But I think I'll just go for something like that and sort of put it sideways. I think that could be nice if I put some flowers on it or something like that. I could obviously go for an end table. Like this one could be interesting. It's a little bit... It's a little modern, I think. I think. It's a little bit out there. It's a little bit much for the area. We have this, which looks like a mini kitchen counter, so I think I'll avoid it. That has books in it, so that's a little bit silly. Uh, that does look like an end table. We have this, which is ridiculous. So <laughs> I was looking at that down here, and I was like, oh, if it was kind of small, it might look interesting. But no, no, it's not. Uh, let's... I could go for that and sort of, if I sort of put like, hold on, hold on, uh, shift control C, BB dot move objects, there we go. If I was to do that and I was to do that, that looks kind of interesting. It's, oh, there's a little bit of like Z fighting going on there. That's not so good. I think I might, hmm, no, we'll not keep that. If it didn't, you know, have that kind of conflicting thing going on there, it would have been fine, but it's that was just going to annoy me. Uh, let's maybe just go... 
Let's maybe just pick something. I mean, I've been here for a while. Uh, this is kind of nice. Yeah, I'll go for that. It's not so bad. I, I think I'll keep it. I'm going to go into the beamer as well. Because I think having some smaller lights in here could be really nice. So what I want to do is start with something right in the middle of the table. But I'm going to go for a nice, bright... Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say green lantern thing. I think that's quite nice. Although it doesn't really show up as green because of the color. It looks more blue. The blue one looks very blue. The red one's very red. I like the pink one, actually. It kind of matches the rug. Let's see. What about the yellow one? Doesn't really look right. Um, I'm going to go with the blue one, then. And then the rug could also be blue to sort of match. That looks kind of nice. I also love the yellow glow on the table. That's really pretty. Let's look at decorations, then, and see what we can do. I think... I think flowers might be a little much there. Or at least that kind of flower thing. Maybe, like, one rose or something could be kind of cool. Like, if I did that. Although... Maybe sort of more there. And then, can I change the color of the plant itself? I can actually make it sort of yellow, and I like that. I like the pink one, actually. Again, sort of a bit of blue in there, and the pink to contrast it. And the next question I have, then, is can I get some clutter? Because clutter always makes a house look like a home. So, what is this? What, what is what is this? The sw this swanky card holder is a great accent to your professional decor. People will think you're important since your cards need their own clothes. I mean... I kind of want one in real life now, to be honest. I don't think we need a card holder in the house, though. So what I'll do is put some books just there. And could I get them under there? Oh, I can. Right, just a couple of books there, but I want to change the color. Just so it, you know, it looks a little messy, and I like that. As for the lights for the rest of the space, I'm sort of feeling like some nice wall lights could be really good. I mean, those are kind of, I like those. I like what they do for the doors, but... I mean, those actually light up the space itself much better. Uh, so... Oh, that's... That's inter That's interesting. I really like that. I really like that. That's really cool. I mean, there's obviously this sort of awkward gap. And hold up, hold up. There you go. You can sort of see an awkward gap between them, but... I like that as a little detail. That's pretty cool. All right. This whole space just looks a little better. I think the last thing it needs is a little bit of something in the corners and a little bit of something on the walls. So, let's get ourselves... I mean, that's always a good shot, but I feel, I feel like Ellie and Peyton could have something a little more like... I mean, posters could be fun. I kind of like that. I've always liked this. I've, I've really always liked this. Uh, so let me put that there, but change the frame to be white. And then I think a little... Oh, how expensive was that? 985 simoleons. We are... We're, you know, we're flashing the cash a little bit. But I think we're okay. I do think a little end table could be nice in here, though. Uh, is there a glass for... Is there, like, a thin glass one? I mean, obviously, this thing's enormous and a bit much. But I don't think there is, like, a thin glass... What is that? When when was this added to The Sims? Okay. Uh, that one's not so bad if I change the color. Like, if I just sort of make that white or something. It could do with being closer to the wall, but we'll get that in a second. I want to go to decorations and sculptures and... Oh, hold up a minute. This wall needs something more than the other wall. So that's going there. And we're going to put ourselves... Let's see. I reckon... I reckon that. I don't know why. I just kind of like it. I mean, you know, this house is... It's nice, I will say. You know, I, I, I like this house. It's nothing spectacular. But I think it's a good, like... It's a good sized... If you drove past this house and looked at it properly, you'd kind of look at it and go, oh, Yeah, you know what? That's... Those people are doing pretty well, but they're not millionaires. And I would say that kind of sums up Ali and Peyton. I feel like someday I want to go and be like, here's a super ultra modern mega mansion for them and their inevitable family. But uh, 
I feel like that's not what's happening right now. I mean, obviously, that's that's way down the line. That's when uh, that's when we start franchising. I mean, that's obviously what's going to happen. And by the way, I'm pretty sure the last thing I asked in these videos was like, hey, do we buy out the Chief Beef restaurant? And there was a pretty strong mix of opinions on that. It was kind of weird in a way it was it was i didn't expect it to be so divided there were like a fair number of people were like yeah you know what buy other chief beef ali's done a lot of good work but you know we can get a better restaurant a bigger blah 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 the thing is the more i've thought about it the more i'm kind of sitting here thinking i really like ali's so what i might do is just like play a little bit off camera and get a lot of money from snapdragon and then just go buy the the chief beef place as a second restaurant i think that could be kind of fun anyway it's 7 43 a.m i am going to open the restaurant but ali and peyton are not going to be going to it today in fact ali i mean you are still kind of sleepy but i'm going to get you up a little early so that you can go and use the bathroom which is absolutely a thing you need to do so, uh, you've done that. You are also quite hungry. So, go... Oh, I love this. I love that Peyton was like, you know what? I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm gonna make breakfast and it's gonna be delicious. There we go. So, these two are having some food. They're not currently... Oh, no, they are talking. Beautiful. This is solving so many of the problems. Peyton has learned that Ali is cheerful. Did you... Ser Did you seriously only learn that? <laughs> How long have you guys been together? I mean... Really? I mean, it's probably not been that long, realistic. It's probably probably only been like a month, to be honest, in The Sims. But, you know, Sim, Sims, time moves differently in The Sims. I feel like we can agree with this. So, oh, hello. what do you want? Hello? <laughs> Little sir? Um, I, who, who are you? Chris Lauer. Hello. Kit, what are you doing? What, what are you doing here? It's Bjorn. Do you want to... No, little sir. Yes, Bjorn. I will hang out tonight. I will travel with... What? You... <laughs> so that's the chief beef... That's one of the chief beef uniforms. I may... I may have forgotten about that. I, uh, I may have forgotten about that one. So... I'm assuming we're leaving this small child to roam around the house, then. I'm assuming that's what's happening here. Also, why is... Night airing and beat... Oh, I see. I was just... I just saw between TV and thought there was, like, a capital E in the word as, like, a typo or something. But no, that was... I get it. I get it. There was, there was a cap... It was the point of the station... Right. Anyway, what is... Hold up. What? What? Wh what? Why is it closed? <laughs> Open again, please. We just lost money because I had to have my employees there. So what's up? What's what's this? Partying with time to hang out with your friends and party the night away. All uh, right. This uh, this doesn't look like much of a club. Well, it kind of does. Uh, let's go and get some. Uh, let's let's goof around a little bit. Here's what we're gonna do. Where's Ali? Ali, what are you what are you doing, Ali? Stop playing Pokemon Go! It's not the time. No, it's it's seriously not the time. You are literally like me. You are me. It's like, hey, I'm in a bar, there's lots of people. I'm just gonna sit on Instagram. That's that's Yeah, that's Oh, that that strikes a <laughs> that strikes a chord. That's definitely me. Let's see if we can oh, hold on a minute. More choices. Order, f oh no, 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 order a drink. Let's order drinks for group. Let's get the most expensive thing here. Never mind, it's too, ah, uh, whatever. Let's spend a lot of money. We're celebrating. The Sims is back in the channel. Did I just order those drinks forever? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. How much did I just spend on those drinks? <laughs> Because this is the conversation we're having, but I f there's only three of us in this group. Oh, dear. I think we're all right. 
I also noticed we didn't actually pay for it. I feel like we should have paid for it, but we didn't. Okay, well, I mean, that looks like a really good drink, I'm gonna be honest. That actually looks like something that James Deli and Zeus had in a, in, a, in a little restaurant in Manchester. I had water. Why? I'm constantly talking about this. I feel, I feel really awkward talking about it, but for, I mean, I, by the time this video goes out, I've been back for like a week. For me, I've been back in the office and home for like a couple of hours. So it's like fresh on my mind and in saying that, that, oh, that drink looks like a thing that the people I was with had. They had that drink like last night for me. So like Simmer's Meetup was yesterday for me. It was like a week ago when this video goes out. So yeah, apologies. If it, it's, it's probably really awkward. Like I'm sitting here going on about Simmer's Meetup and people watching this are like, I just don't care. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's go upstairs. And Ali's currently confident. Okay. I feel like Ali might be might be having a little bit too much juice, but okay. Is that a? I thought that was a door. I was gonna say it's like it's like one of those old buildings. Have you ever? I, if you've ever seen them, you'll know what I'm talking about. But there's occasionally like old buildings that have had like weird renovations done, where the door there's still like upstairs doors that would have like once led to balconies or even different rooms, but the room or balcony doesn't exist anymore, so there's just a door that, I mean, it's probably sealed shut, but, I mean, it's still a door upstairs on an exterior wall with nothing there to walk out to, so that, that always weirds me out a little bit. It really, like, imagine, imagine you're a bit tired and you're kind of walking around, I, I mean, imagine it was a hotel. Otherwise, why would you be in the building? But imagine you're a bit tired, you're walking around and you're trying to find your room and you just open a door to look in and it's like, oh, that's outside. Okay, never mind. Let's close that and never go back there. It would weird me out. Just a little bit. Also, I realize, I mean, we're, we're currently listening to music. Is either Ali... What are you... Okay, that's... Those are dance moves, Ali. Those are dance moves. Can any of you do music? You can do comedy. I mean, you you could go and, hold on, hire staff? Oh, no, go tell some jokes. Tell us a joke. This is like when someone says they're a comedian and then everyone's like, tell us a joke. So yeah, it doesn't, doesn't always work. Um, anyway, it's almost midnight. It's like 20, 20? It's like 40 minutes to midnight. Let's maybe have Allie and Peyton go home. They've had a good day. I feel like they're enjoying themselves, but... Ali's a bit tired, and I would actually like to go to uh, go to the the bistro tomorrow. So we'll have them head home. The business seems to be doing okay, but I don't think the profits are going to be all that high. But we'll see. We'll totally see. I mean, hopefully we're going to make some money. Hopefully. Come on, I think, is it going to tell me? No, the business is still open. Okay, whatever. Let's close it. Let's see. We lost 42 simoleons. Yeesh. Okay. That's interesting. I feel like the only time we actually make money then is when we are visiting and when we are running it ourselves, which is kind of, a, it's really annoying. It would be kind of nice if that wasn't the case, but I mean, oh, hello, sell well done. I guess these, <laughs> I guess these things happen. I suppose that's just the way it's going to be. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it there for today. We are back playing The Sims. We checked out Ali's Bistro. It's doing all right. I think maybe renovating it a little bit. Maybe getting rid of the top floor. Maybe expanding all that stuff. It might be a good idea to do that kind of thing. Because if we can just get more tables on that ground floor, give a bit more space for people to sit, get some booths or something like that get an actual, like, staff area. I think I have some really cool ideas for Ali's Bistro, but what I'm going to do as well is between this episode and the next one, I'm going to spend a little bit of time just working on these two. I'm not going to do anything major. I'm not going to renovate it and not show you it or anything. I'm just going to work with them to get them a little bit of money because we don't have that much. So what I'll do is just harvest a bunch of plants and then plant a bunch more of them and I'll just run the restaurant for a couple of days to make sure everything's okay. And next episode, we're going to have a bunch of money. We're going to do some renovations. We're going to make Ali's Bistro even better. And then 
we are set to go and buy the Chief Beef restaurant. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you kind of for watching. This has been The Sims 4 Dine Out Ranks to Riches Challenge Part 15. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!